Okay, let's talk then a little bit about um, maybe boundaries. So like friends between men and women, hot topic. Um, I think it was a hot topic like 18 years ago and everybody's just over it, but we're just trapped in the early aughts. So, or I am, I'll speak for myself. Um, what, what about boundaries in relationships? Because there's, there are going to be certain things that you share and share, you share, and there are going to be certain things that you don't share and you're going to have to have boundaries in relationships on the basis of those offices that we described. So I don't know if you have tips and tricks for boundaries in relationships. Yeah, well, I think the, the men and women thing is... Yeah, maybe maybe people care. I don't care. Men and women can't be like closest of friends. It's just the way it works. Men and women are different. Um, there's like the reality of like, you know, men are attracted to women, women are attracted to men. And that's not to say that you can't like, you know, like spouses and kind of like romantic relationships in those sort of ways can't be like, you know, of of the highest intimacy and, and friendship. And sure, but like um it is just the case that there's like 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 attracts like and that like shared experience and like common experience is often the basis for friendship so can like men have women who can men have friends who are women yeah in in some ways uh, can that be ought that be is that the easiest of like re friendships relationships to navigate it's not for the like the reasons that you've that you've described um I think other boundaries too to be attentive to are have have a lot to do with like where we are in life and kind of states states and states of life and that sort of thing because again it's like this matter of of sharing of this of this connection over like shared things in life so is it easy for like a 70 year old like widow to be friends with like a 25 year old like single person like no I mean you can have a relationship but like the closeness of friend like your generations apart and it very you know so like it, it doesn't lend itself to to sort of that sharing of life in the way it would with with a peer or somebody who's 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 closer in that sort of way so i think i think like age setting in life gender i think those have like real implications to consider in, in sort of uh boundaries of, of friendship i guess i don't know if you have more probably do but i don't know yeah i think that um, at various points in my life, I've said I am overwhelmed by the number or by the character of good people who have come into my life, and I just like can't make any more friends uh, because I'm not that good of a friend to the people that I already know, so I just need to be a good friend, you know, make new friends, keep the old, or maybe don't make new friends, keep the old gold, silver, yada, yada, that's and such. Um, but I think that a, a good spirit to cultivate while growing friendships on the one hand, cultivating new friendships on the other, and even still like letting certain friendships pass away is to know that this takes place within the providence of God's, you know, designs, you know, within the setting of his plan. So I think that, you know, you're not, you're not going to force things you want to love, right? You wanted to show the other that you love, but you don't want to be constantly gritting your teeth and trying and making of the other a charity case. Like the other doesn't want to see you you know, like trying to love so much as she wants to see you loving to try, you know, like it, it, friendship should be something that comes naturally. There should be a joy to it. There should be a kind of a vitality to the experience such that it conducts itself, at least initially. And you're going to make investments, right? You're going to have to say, oh, when I think of this person and, you know, have the thought, it'd be good to text, you know, this reminder or whatever, then do it. You know, that, that takes your fingers walking across the keypad and stuff like that. So it's always going to involve investment, engagement. It's going to lay a claim to your humanity. Uh, but it should be it should be delightful. It should be wonderful, and we should be able to abandon ourselves to the providence of God and know that we're called to love these people for a time, whatever time the Lord dictates, um, or whatever whatever time we interpret the Lord to dictate. I suppose not to retreat from our agency, um, but we're going to have to respond to the the real factors. You know, like where this person lives, whether they have moved away or come back, or you know, if this person is a man or a woman, or if this person is older or younger, if this person dies, or if this person doesn't want to be friends with me. Those are all pertinent factors. You're only ever capable of, of what you're capable, uh, which is to say you can love those whom God places in your life for the time that he affords. Um, and I think that, that that also can help spare us some of the, the clingitude on the one hand, the ghostitude on the other hand. Those are very technical terms, Yeah. Um, which might otherwise creep into our relationships and poison them.